Got a 2012 F350 here with 360,000 miles on it. Three fifty seven, three eighty five. Replacing the uh, front axle shaft seals, and anytime you tear these apart, you always want to check your backlash with any differential. It's always a good idea to check your ring and pinion ring and pinion backlash before you tear it apart. So this one, we are oh shit, fuck that up. Hang on. Let's try that again. Set your dial indicator up. So zeroed out there. We got about ten and a half to eleven thousandths. Then I always like to rotate it 180 and check it again. Uh, spec on this is five to eight, five to eight thousandths. So it's at ten. We're going to call it about ten, eleven thousandths. That's not too bad for 360 thousand mile truck with the gear trains never been touched in it. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull that ring gear and carrier assembly out and uh, change out the axle shaft seals and the tubes. And then he, he said that it feels like the back, the rear end has a lot of driveline slop. Um, we'll check the U-joints, which I'm pretty sure they're good because this truck comes through here a lot. Um, but I'll double check the driveline itself, the drive shaft, and... But I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rear differential on this one and check our ring and pinion backlash as well uh, Just because of the miles that's on it. That's a lot of wear and tear on uh, Gear train over the miles and this is a welding rig. So but uh, yeah that's What I'm working on here Saturday night and uh, This one also just gets a full vehicle inspection too so uh, this truck does have the original injectors and the original CP4 injection pump in it too at 360,000 miles. Uh, he's pretty good about running uh, fuel additive. He runs Hot Shot Secret everyday diesel treatment. So, yeah. And with this one being at 11 thousandths uh, and spec being 5 to 8 thousandths, I am going to go ahead and uh, tighten this one back up. We're going to shim that ring and pinion set up and reset it up uh, obviously I'll check all the bearings and stuff while we're into it but uh, I'm gonna set it up for being that it's a 360 mile gear train in and I'm probably gonna set that backlash up to about seven to nine thousandths um, and I think that'll be a pretty good sweet spot for it and then whatever the rear end checks out at um, I expect that one to be quite a bit further out from spec than the front one was um, so we'll check that one and then we'll check the specs and set it up accordingly. So.